Hi everyone! In this video, we will go over document templates and layouts. We will cover the difference between a document template and a document layout, and how to make changes for an individual event. Document templates are like a shopping cart where all of the items and ingredients go. The layouts are the recipe, what you can make with the items. Just like you need to put items in your cart first in order to use them in a recipe, you need to add the information to your template first, and then that information can be used on a layout. Once the event information is changed in the template, the changes will automatically push to other layouts. Examples of layouts are the contract, event order invoice, and kitchen sheet. If I want to make a permanent change for all events moving forward, such as adding a field to the billing widget, I need to make the change in the template within settings. I will go into this in the next video. Let's head to the document tab of an event to get started. When I click add a document to this event, this will show all of the document templates that are available for me to use. When I add that document template to an event, I will first fill out the information in these text boxes and fields in the template. I will input all event details and information on the template. I will see fields for pick list items, text box fields for notes, images, a billing widget, and venue terms and conditions. When I save this information, all of my layouts will automatically populate with the information I just filled out. I can choose to have certain fields populate on certain layouts, which can be controlled in my settings. For this event, the contract and event order is the template, and the BEO, contract, invoice, kitchen sheet, and proposal are the layouts. When I head into the contract, I can see that all of the event information, food and prices, billing widget, terms and conditions, gratuity, and client signature are shown in the contract. When I head into the kitchen sheet, I can see the pertinent information for my back of house staff listed. Information such as prices and terms and conditions are not included. If I need to change any of the information in any layout, I will head into the template. To edit, I can click on the template name or head to the gear icon and click edit. For this example, I will update the stake options to be 75. When I click update, that change will automatically push to the corresponding layouts. Clicking into the kitchen sheet, the food numbers have been updated. To make permanent changes to all events moving forward or change sections of a layout, watch our next video called Document Templates and Layouts Settings. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplesheet.com, or by clicking the Help and Questions button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.